Hi, this is Info Puppet. We are going to create digital snow globes. You are going to absolutely love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. And Photoshop Elements 11 is open. This will work fine for 10 and 12. These are the images we'll be working on. And we're going to select the lower color swatch. And uh, I'm gonna just going to select the dark purple. What? Go away! I'm not ready for you yet. Alright, we're going to go to File, New, and Blank File. And make sure background color selected. You want your width to be about 600 and the height about 600. Now I'm going to click on OK. There's our purple background. All right. Now we're going to go up here to filter, render, and lens flare. All right. So make sure that the brightness is about 80% and you have 32, 300 millimeters selected. I just clicked OK. Look at that. All right. Now filter and distort and polar coordinates. Okay, make sure uh, polar to rectangle is selected, and now I just clicked on OK. Isn't that cool? Now I'm going to image, rotate, and flip vertical. And boom! Oh, much better, much better. Now we're going to go back to filter and uh, distort and polar coordinates, and this time we're going to select rectangular to polar. Now watch what happens when I click on K. Ready? Go! I love it! Look at that! It's beautiful! A purple uh, bowling ball. Well, we'll work on it some more. Okay. It's getting to a snow globe, but not yet. So we're going to select the magic eraser tool. Make sure that your tolerance is about only four. And I'm just going to uh, click on the areas of background I want to go away. Now I just select the move tool. I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it over uh, to the background image we're using now and now we're going to enhance adjust color and adjust use saturation now all I'm going to do here is take all the saturation out of this all right now we're going to change the the layer from normal to screen and look at that it looks just like glass I love it awesome all right now we're gonna select that layer and we're gonna actually we just right click and I'm duplicating the layer I selected the layer right click then duplicated the layer so we can see the effects a little better now enhance adjust lighting and brightness and contrast I'm gonna take the brightness all the way down Alright, now you see we still have the two um, glass balls there, so we're going to hold the shift key down, select both layers, right click and select merge layers. Alright, now I'm going to change the blend mode from normal to screen, and we're back to where we were. Alright, so now finally we're going to bring the girl out, and I'm just going to select the magic eraser tool, and left click and release to get rid of the background. Now I just selected the move tool and I'm going to left click, hold and drag the girl over to our holiday background. Okay, well, make her a little smaller. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to uh, create a new layer. Left click, hold and drag the layer to the top. And we'll go over here and select the selection brush tool and now I have a very large brush and I'm just clicking and releasing on the left now clicking and releasing on the top and now on the right so I've got a selection around my snow globe okay 
now uh, we gotta click on these buttons here to get the default colors black and white and then the curved arrows. We need black on the bottom right now. Okay, now we're gonna hit Control and Delete or Command and Delete for Mac and see it fills the, the ball with black. All right, now we're at Filter, Pixelate, and Mesotint. Yes, I said Mesotint. All right, now we're gonna change it to grainy dots and select OK. Beautiful. All right, we'll go up to Filter, Pixelate, and now Crystallize. And uh, what you can do here, look, you can change how big they are and how many dots you have. I'm just gonna leave it at three and select OK. All right, one more thing. We're gonna go up to Filter, and blur and Gaussian blur. I'm just gonna do a 0.2 pixels and select OK, just so that they're not really sharp looking. Now we're gonna change it from normal to screen and boom, snowflakes! I'm gonna make an angel, a snow angel. Oh, well, all right. So um, what we're gonna do right now is close. Uh, I just created a new layer and drag it to the top. And now I just selected the rectangle tool and I am left clicking holding and dragging and creating a rectangle yeah all right now i just selected the gradient tool and clicked on edit and we're going to select this one here this copper and select okay and now i'm going to left click hold. What, what does that say this shape better oh all right leave me alone all right i'll try it again left click hold in oh why i can't do this stuff i'm going to hit undo and the reason why is you have to select a uh, rectangle marquee and select the rectangle. You have to tell Photoshop Elements where you want to draw a gradient. So I just selected the gradient tool again. I'm going to left click, hold and drag, and boom, much nicer. All right, now we're going over to File, New, and Blank File. And I'm going to click on OK. I just want that little white part on the other side. So I'm going to drag this over with the move tool. All right, now I'm going to uh, drag it over to our background image. And I'm going to get rid of this old one by dragging it up to the trash can. All right, and now what I'm doing is I'm going to image, transform, and perspective. Now we're just going to grab the corner and drag it to the left. Both corners will drag out exactly the same. All right. Now I'm going to click on the check mark. I resize that. And look at that snow globe. We're not done yet. We're going to select all layers by holding down the shift key and selecting all four layers. You won't be able to move this unless you select all four layers like that. You can't blend them or merge them because the effects on the layers will disappear. And I just want to show you, you can put a glow, an outer glow on this. I'm going to change it from yellow to white and look how nice it's going to look here. Just click on OK, change the size to about 21. Can you see that glow? It looks awesome! I'm telling you, you can do so many things with these snow globes. You know, if you want, you can put one of your kids in there and send it out as a holiday card. I'm telling you, it's the snow globe, digital snow globes. Thanks so much for watching from Info Puppet.